spent three trillion dollars last year on what we call healthcare, which is predominantly sick care. Eighty-six percent of which was treating chronic diseases that can be often prevented or even reversed by making lifestyle changes. Back in 1995, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Life literally changed overnight. I was no longer a young, healthy physician. I was now an MS patient, and I myself was admitted to the hospital. This may be the first generation in which our kids may live a shorter lifespan than their parents. Heart disease, cancer, stroke, diabetes, dementia, respiratory disease, just a huge swath of humanity is dying prematurely, unnecessarily, every year. There's so much that we could do to prevent. We can prevent about 80% of chronic disease through lifestyle changes. Lifestyle medicine is about diet, about exercise, about stress. Throughout four years of medical school, four years of residency, and then two years of subspecialty training, none of my educators ever commented on a connection between diet and disease. This was new to me. There is a severe nutrition deficiency in education. Let's be honest, a number of medical schools are run by Pharmageddon. We were just in class, and we just memorized 50 different drugs. Oh, this patient's hypertensive? These are the drugs you prescribed. Not once did we talk about hey, let's modify that patient's diet. Let's try to get them on an exercise program. This is so common sense, and why aren't the large schools, the Ivy League schools, why are they not looking at this in terms of training a good physician? Doctors say, I don't want to be a pill factory anymore. I don't want to just be an assembly line of prescriptions. I want to change people's lives. Every student that comes across lifestyle medicine, they, they get so motivated. They're like, this is what I want to do. With lifestyle medicine, we can change the world.